Diesel engines have powered everything from tough work trucks to high-end luxury cars, delivering unmatched longevity and fuel efficiency. But which ones are the real legends? Here are the 10 best diesel engines of all time. And trust me, you'll want to stick around to see which one takes the top spot. 10. 3.0-liter Chrysler Eco Diesel Engine the 3.0-liter Eco Diesel V6, built by VM Motori, first hit the scene in Europe back in 2011, but North America had to wait a few years, finally getting it three years later under the hood of the Jeep Grand Cherokee and Ram 1500. And when it arrived, it made a big impression. This engine was all about the perfect balance, fuel efficiency without sacrificing power. In fact, the Ram 1500 trucks with the Eco Diesel got about 30% better gas mileage than their Hemi V8 counterparts, all while delivering the same solid performance. And the industry took notice. The 3.0 Eco Diesel V6 was such a game changer that it landed on the Ward's 10 best engines list three years in a row. Its success was so impossible to ignore that even rivals like General Motors and Ford had to step up and roll out their versions. 9. Mercedes 2.1 OM611 Engine the Mercedes 2.1 OM611 engine is a four-cylinder diesel, part of a family that also includes an OM612 and OM613, five- and six-cylinder variants, respectively. These engines share a lot under the hood. Same cylinder size, injectors, pistons, all built on tough cast iron blocks, with aluminum cylinder heads and four valves per cylinder. Produced between 1997 and 2006, the OM series brought Mercedes into the modern diesel era, with a common rail injection system using Bosch injectors. In the CDI Series 2 cars, this system relied on a mechanical pump, valves, and a temperature sensor to regulate high pressure. The 2.2 CDI OM611 wasn't just about efficiency, it packed between 82 and 143 horsepower, and was built to go the distance, designed to last well over 372,000 miles. Mercedes put this engine to work across a range of models, from the C-Class and E-Class to workhorses like the V-Class and Sprinter. Meanwhile, the 1997 C250 turbo diesel came with the five-cylinder OM612, paired with either a five-speed manual or automatic transmission with 148 horsepower and 207 pound-foot of torque. This 1480 kilogram BMW could hit 62 miles per hour in 10.2 seconds reach a top speed of 126 miles per hour and still manage around 35 miles per gallon. 8. Hyundai Kia 1.6 CRDI Engine Back in 2007, Kia and Hyundai rolled out the 1.6 CRDI engine, a tough little diesel workhorse straight out of Korea. Built for efficiency and longevity, this engine packed a common rail injection system with Bosch injectors, a turbocharger, and a pollution-cutting filter. Depending on the model and year, it cranked out anywhere from 90 to 136 horsepower, making it a solid choice for both everyday drivers and long-haul travelers. But what really made this engine stand out? Reliability. Auto Spruce even rated it for an impressive 500,000 kilometers. Unlike many other diesel engines, it skipped the floating flywheel, a common troublemaker that often leads to expensive repairs. That said, the early 115 horsepower versions did run into turbocharger issues, but Kia tackled this with a software update between 2006 and 2009. There were also some occasional hiccups with fuel injection, though these were relatively simple and affordable fixes. City drivers had to watch out for the diesel particulate filter clogging up, but overall these problems weren't too severe. The 1.6 CRDI engine still holds its reputation for being very reliable. 7. Toyota 1.4 D4D Engine Toyota had its fair share of struggles with the older 2.0 and 2.2 diesel engines, but they really nailed it with the 1.4 D4D. This little workhorse was built to last, easily hitting 450,000 kilometers, and came loaded with solid tech. It had a rail injection system with either Denso or Bosch injectors, plus some impressive features for its size, like a variable geometry turbo, an intercooler, and an aluminum block, a first for any Japanese automaker in a diesel engine. Now, it wasn't exactly a powerhouse. With just 75 horsepower and modest torque, it wasn't built for racing. But when it came to fuel efficiency, it delivered. 
This little car could easily hit over 47 miles per gallon. Toyota later gave it a boost, first in 2004 with a 90 horsepower upgrade, then with tweaks to keep up with stricter emission standards. Of course, no engine is perfect. The 1.4 D4D had some common issues, noisy timing chains, oil consumption, and occasional ECU troubles, but overall, Toyota kept things simple, and that made it stable, reliable, and easy to maintain. Six. Volkswagen 1.9 TDI VP engine. Now, even though Volkswagen got caught up in the whole Dieselgate scandal in 2015, their TDI engines still have a solid reputation for reliability. The 1.9 TDI in particular was built with simple, durable parts, which made it a long-lasting workhorse. It came in a few different power levels, all using a Bosch fuel pump, and later models featured a variable geometry turbo and a floating flywheel to improve performance. From 1991 to 2010, this engine made its way into countless Volkswagen Audi Group cars, and a reputation for being fuel efficient and delivering solid performance, but like any engine, it had its quirks. The 1.9 TDI was known to vibrate and rattle, especially in smaller, budget-friendly cars, enough that you could feel it through the steering wheel and pedals. In the late 90s, Volkswagen introduced a new fuel injection system that improved efficiency but made the engine shake even more. To fix this, they added oil-filled engine mounts to reduce vibrations. Still, these engines were loud, especially at low speeds. In cheaper models, the noise was even worse, though once you picked up speed, regular road noise helped drown it out. 5. Ford 6.7-liter Power Stroke Diesel Engine Back in 2011, Ford shook things up with a brand new 6.7-liter Power Stroke Diesel Engine. Unlike the older 6.4-liter, which was made by International Navistar, this one was built entirely by Ford. The first time in over 30 years they'd gone solo on a Power Stroke design, and let's just say they nailed it. The engine quickly earned a reputation for being tough and reliable. Sure, like any engine, it had a few early hiccups. The biggest issue? The turbocharger. The first models used ceramic bearings on the turbo shaft, and let's just say they didn't always hold up. Ford fixed that by swapping them out for stronger steel ball bearings. Another weak spot was the cylinder heads. Early versions had just four bolts per cylinder, which wasn't ideal. Later models upgraded to six bolts per cylinder, making blown head gaskets a lot less of a headache. Fast forward to today, and Ford's still going strong with its Super Duty diesel lineup. The standard 6.7-liter Power Stroke V8 packs 475 horsepower and 1,050 pound-foot of torque. But if you want a real power, the high-output version cranks out 500 horsepower and a jaw-dropping 1,200 pound-foot of torque, enough to haul 8,000 pounds in the bed and tow up to 40,000 pounds with a gooseneck trailer. Four, BMW N57 engine. If there's one diesel engine that truly earned its place in BMW's history, it's the M57. This six-cylinder beast powered some of BMW's most iconic cars from 1998 to 2010, delivering anywhere from 150 to 286 horsepower in regular models. But when BMW prepped it for the grueling Dakar rally, it cranked out a wild 320 horsepower and 580 pound-foot of torque. The M57 came in three sizes, 2.5, 2.9, and 3.0 liters. It packed some serious tech. A variable geometry turbocharger, Bosch injectors, a diesel particulate filter, and a double mass flywheel all helped make it smoother and more efficient. But what really set it apart was the common rail injection system. Instead of an old school mechanical pump, this high pressure system, hitting up to 26,000 psi, completely atomized the diesel fuel, making for cleaner combustion and better performance. By 2008, BMW brought the M57 to the US in the 335D featuring a slick sequential turbo system. With 265 horsepower and massive torque, this diesel-powered sedan could hit 60 miles per hour in just 5.7 seconds and complete the quarter mile in a little over 14. BMW used this legendary engine in the 356 and 7 series, the X series, and even in cars like the Opel Omega and Range Rover. 3. 6.6-liter Duramax LB7 
Back in 2001, General Motors made a big move in the diesel truck world with the 6.6-liter Duramax LB7. This engine developed with Isuzu was built to replace an older design and put GM on the map as a serious competitor. It was packed with advanced tech for its time, featuring four valves per cylinder and delivering between 235 and 300 horsepower. But the real star was the torque, 500 to 520 pound-foot, making it the best in its class back then. The LB7 came packed with a turbocharger, an intercooler, and something new for the time, the Bosch Common Rail Injector System. This setup combined the fuel pump and injectors into one unit, storing and pressurizing fuel before sending it to the engine. Another cool feature? Its lightweight aluminum cylinder heads, which were way ahead of their time. Ford didn't even start using aluminum heads until 2011 with their 6.7-liter power stroke. GM did run into some early fuel injection issues, but they fixed them and even backed the system with a 200,000-kilometer guarantee. This tough, efficient engine powered first-gen Chevy Silverado HD and GMC Sierra HD trucks and became known as one of the toughest and most affordable diesel engines around. 2. Honda 2.2 CTDI Engine Before 2003, Japanese car makers usually bought diesel engines from other companies. That changed when Honda introduced its own 2.2 CTDI, a diesel engine that quickly became popular in the Civic and Accord. 140 horsepower and 250 pound-foot of torque, it had enough power for daily driving while still being fuel efficient. This four-cylinder engine was built to last, featuring 16 valves, a chain-driven camshaft, and a Bosch fuel injection system. It also came with a variable geometry turbocharger and a dual-mass flywheel, making it meet Euro 4 emission standards. In theory, Honda designed it to go up to 600,000 kilometers, but in reality, most held up well between 220 and 370 kilometers before needing major repairs. Of course, how long it actually lasted depended a lot on proper maintenance and using quality parts. And like most diesel engines, the CTDI wasn't without issues. The supercharger bearings could wear out early, and the EGR valve often got clogged, especially with frequent city driving. This led to power loss, rough running, and excess smoke. In the Honda CRV, the engine felt a bit weak. Our driver clocked a slow 9.4 seconds to 60 miles per hour. But once the turbo kicked in, performance improved and fuel economy was solid at 28 miles per gallon, beating the gas-powered CRV's 22. 1. Ram Cummings 6.7-liter engine Cummins has been building diesel engines for Ram trucks for a long time, since 1989 to be exact. It all started with the legendary 5.9-liter turbo diesel, which stayed a fan favorite for two decades. Then, in 2007, Ram introduced the 6.7-liter Cummins turbo diesel in their 2500 and 3500 heavy-duty trucks, along with commercial models like the chassis cab 3500, 4500, and 5500. For the last 16 years, the 6.7 ISB has carried on the legacy of the old 5.9-liter. In Ram heavy-duty trucks, it cranks out anywhere from 350 to 420 horsepower, backed by an insane amount of torque. In bigger commercial trucks, the numbers drop a bit, around 305 to 360 horsepower, but make no mistake, it still delivers serious pulling power. But fast forward to 2024, and Ram's latest trucks have a beast under the hood, a high-output 6.7-liter Cummins diesel paired with a tough ASIN transmission. This setup cranks out 420 horsepower and a staggering 1,075 pound-foot of torque. If there's one weak spot, it's the complicated emission system. But other than that, this engine is incredibly strong and efficient. While we can't cover every diesel engine that probably deserves a spot in this video, if you think we missed one, let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, don't forget to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an upload.